Hello, Colonel Club, what is up? Thank you for being here. Welcome back to Popcorn in Bed in Canada still. Great White North, better chocolate, land of the poutine. You know what else I think Canada has better of, or maybe it's just Alberta? Chicken wings. Every bar here has wing night, like 20 cent wings, and they are phenomenal. Tell me where I can get better wings in the States because it's not Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't know. Okay, I'm watching Jeremiah Johnson. <laughs> I know that I just did that accent because that is what I think about because it looks like a country song. Okay, I'm embarrassing myself. This was a wild card pick from a pillowcase poll on one of the lives forever ago. Maybe like the first time I did pillowcase poll. I think I picked Jeremiah Johnson and Legend. So they weren't the like official picks, but I was just like really into pulling things from pillowcase and I got excited and this was one of them. There was no promises, but it was always kind of in the back of my mind. Like I should probably honor that wild card pick. My brain is doing that thing where its biases are like, mm, this looks boring and like a country song and like a Western and like a oldish movie. But my heart is telling me that I've loved a lot of old movies, Westerns, and this is Robert Redford. And someone just told me that this was filmed in Sundance, Utah, i.e. Sundance Film Festival, i.e. we've eaten there on our anniversary, i.e. minutes away, you know? So that's pretty cool. I told my dad I was watching this, you know, he's just outside of this door. I mean, not the door, but the room. He's not standing outside the door. <laughs> he said he loved the book that this was based on. It was an incredible book. One thing I've learned in the channel is my dad has great movie taste. So I'm excited. I really am. So let's get this movie started. Patreon, like, subscribe, you're the best. Overture. They do this sometimes, don't they? I don't think I'm allowed to skip it because I think that throws off the sink. Nope, don't do it. I read The Fourth Wing recently. It's a fantasy book. The book talk, like TikTok book people, were like raving about it, saying it was like the best fantasy they've ever read. So I think I went in with my expectations way too high. It was good, but it was nothing that The Hunger Games, Divergent, those kind of ones hadn't done before. What have you guys been reading lately? I have no idea if this overture is gonna be like two minutes or 10 minutes. So we're here for one more week. And the problem is we have all these ideas, things we wanna do, things, places we wanna go visit. It's just very hard to, to do those things. But we are gonna do at least a Waterton day trip, which is Waterton National Park and Glacier National Park. It's one of my favorite places on earth. I'd like to go to West Edmonton Mall, but six hour drive just seems out of the question. I'd like to go to Banff. It hurts just very busy and expensive in the summer. And anyways. Here we go. Okay. Jeremiah Johnson. It sounds like, um, I was going to say John Jacob G. Clammersmith, but it doesn't sound anything like that. <gasps> okay. Got to get your head in the game. Robert Redford. Jeremiah Johnson. They say he wanted to be a mountain man. Nobody knows whereabouts he come from. He was looking for a hawking gun, a 50 caliber or better. He settled for a 30, but damn, it was a genuine hawking. Went with being a mountain man and said goodbye to whatever life was down there below. Mountain man. Just where is it I could find bear, beaver, and other critters worth cash money when skinned? Right due west of the sunset. Turn left at the Rocky Mountains. This is his story. Like to find some critters. What came first, the movie or the song? I'm seeing all these places and wondering if I've been there. Got some mountain manning to do, chair. <gasps> oh boy. Good job! 
Oh, he's gonna be so cold. Ah! Quick question. When someone says they want to be a mountain man, does that mean they just want to live in the mountains, like not in a city, live off the land? Oh, poor guy. I can feel the cold. He needs like a lean-to or something. Oh, please don't wake up and grab him. Oh, phew. I, Hatchet Jack, do hereby leaveth my rifle to whatever finds it. It killed the bar that killed me. Anyway, I am dead. Yours truly, Hatchet Jack. Oh. 50 caliber Hawken. Oh, good, good job. Oh, poor horsey. What? Oh, I thought that was the deer. Two months. I am Bear Claw Chris Lapp. And I am the same dumb pilgrim I've been hearing for 20 days and smelling for three. <gasps> now that's a mountain man, I take it. This place has been trapped out since 25. What are you doing here then? I hunt Grizz. Grizz? Grizz or bears, pilgrim. You know how to skin Grizz? I can skin most anything. You sure are cocky for a starving pilgrim. <laughs> Touche. Yes, that's what he needs. Are you sure that you can skin Grizz? Just as fast as you can find him. <laughs> it's very nice of him. He's a bit cray. Is that cooked? Grizzly bear. If I head due west tomorrow, will I find good places to trap? If you head due west or any other place tomorrow, you'll be a starving pilgrim in a week. You ain't likely to meet up with someone of my good nature. Whatever you learn down the flat will serve you no good up here. You got some work to do. Do I sense a mentor? Montage, perhaps? Utes and flatheads are generally peaceful critters. Crows, they are fearful. I've seen them with one foot in a horse's rump, one wrist through a loop in a horse's mane, shooting arrows and guns from under the horse's neck. His bear mittens. Ever get lonesome? Yeah. I never could find no traps in a woman's heart. I packed me a squaw for ten years, pilgrim. The meanest bitch had ever bawled for beads. I lodged Boulder at Dead Wolf Creek and traded her for a hawking gun. Well, I swear, the woman's breast is the hardest rock that the Almighty ever made on this earth. And I can find no sign on it. These coals here will simmer until sunrise. You better go do likewise. Now that looks cozy. <gasps> too simmery, too simmery. Didn't put enough dirt down. It's not right off. Trick to it. Walk out on this side of your horse. I think he sees our feet. Elk don't know how many feet a horse have. <laughs> no, slide it up over the saddle. That's gonna hurt the horse's ears. <laughs> Didn't like it down there, huh? It ought have been different. Is that so? Mountain got it. Probably crow. It's their territory. They figure we're trespassing. <gasps> yep, crow.
He is a very helpful friend to have. Uh, yeah, I was sick. You two know each other? Well, you see, hubby. Says you fish poorly. Do you understand that language? Patchy shirt speaks English. He just does this to aggravate me. <laughs> uh -oh. Hold that. Well. Oh. you. What's your name? Johnson. Christian name. Jeremiah. Aho. He just pulled a robber. You guys ever play Settlers of Catan? You know when you roll a seven? Give me a wheat to not put it on you. House rules. You can cut wood and leave it up on the Judith. Riverboat captain to leave you gold. It's a good thing to know. Watch your top knot. Yep. Watch yarn. Watch your top knot? To me, a top knot is a little messy bun. So he's still gonna do it. He's still gonna mountain man it. With a renewed sense of skills though. I liked that guy. Okay, another quick question. If you kill a deer, how long does that last you? Everything seems better when the weather's nice. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Are those dead children? Woman, I am your friend. We have graves to dig. Who did that? We will now sing. Shall we gather at the river? Gather with the saints at the river. What happened to her children? Boy, did you see all this? She didn't do that to her own kids, right? The Indians will not bother you now on account of you are touched. They will be afraid. What did he mean by the Indians will be afraid of you now? Because she's touched. Poor thing. Ah, uh, maybe you and the boy best come with me now. Down to the Judith. Put you on a ferry. Take him. What? Take him. Ma'am, I wouldn't know how to tend after it. <gasps> you got a name, boy? Huh? I will call you Caleb. <laughs> Are you all right? Sure, I got a fine horse under me. <laughs> the engines put you here? Torton Mormons. <laughs> Say, you wouldn't have an extra hat on you, would you? What'd you shave your head for? Ed Wolf says his scalp ain't fit for no decent man's lodge pole. Named Del Q with an E. Ain't that Hatchet Jack's rifle? Yeah, I found him. Rose to a tree. They all kind of know each other? He was living with a female panther. Two years in a cave up in the mussel shell. She never did get used to him. An actual panther? You give me your pistol. Load that bear rifle full of nails. Uh, I plan to be here for a long time, and I do not want them down on me. You expect me to leave it pass? They'll be asleep soon. Should be no trouble to slip in then and get your possibles. Use this blanket, boy. You don't say a lot, does he? No. No. Stay here with Ooh. the animals. Oh, it's okay, Caleb. He's gonna come back. No! <laughs> you stole my penalty! 
That escalated quickly. You skinheaded son of a bitch! You almost got me killed. We're done, Dell. Don't you want any of these? What? Scalps? No. Mother Gu never raised such a foolish child. Woof. Oh my gosh. What do you do with him, Scalps? We're still hanging out with this guy. Them is flatheads, and they've hurt nobody that I know. Hey, hey. Well, hey. Yes, if you were the great warrior who avenges the crazy woman in the Wolf Tail Valley. I didn't know there was going to be flatheads. Dell is not a good friend or good man, I'm pretty sure. Chief here is named Two Tongues Le Beau. French missionaries taught him their language. The scalps of pieds noirs are very terrible. And the chevaux sont très vite. He says the scalps are fierce. Horses are fleet. Take them, and the ponies. I have no further use for them. You wouldn't give him a gift. If he cannot give you a better one, it will be an insult. Oh. Ma fille. He has thought of a better gift to give you. His daughter. Huh? Now you have a son, you need a wife. He's serious? He's gonna give her his daughter? Oh. I do not think this is funny. It ain't. You can take her to Fort Holy and sell her. <gasps> it's you best take her, Pen. She's called the Swan. But maybe you need her. You turn down this gift, they'll slit you, me, Caleb, and the horses from crotch to eyeball to a dull deer antler. We are getting married then. Okay. The Swan. Your husband has told me so much about you. <laughs> Bye, Jeremiah Johnson. Where are you going? I wouldn't want to disturb your wedding night. Have a nice honeymoon, Mrs. Johnson. He's really gotten himself into something. He does have a son and a wife now. Oh, that boy looks so sad. Do you speak any English? I don't speak no flathead, you know. So don't bother me, neither of you. Where are we going? Cover time. Oh, that's kind of nice, I guess, to not spit it out in front of her. No. I fall. Huh? <laughs> Religious too? Religious. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes! Great hunter. Yes? Yes. Fine figure of a man, yes? Yes. That is all you need to know for now. You getting enough, boy? Well, what a little crew. This weren't my idea, you know. Have they consummated the marriage? Was she sleeping? Was he just sneaking a peek or did she know? <laughs> Different times. <laughs> Is that a meme? <laughs> Still have not heard either of them talk, which is crazy. This'll do. River in front, cliffs behind, good water. Not much wind. This'll be a good place to live. To live? They're gonna be a family. Lincoln Logs. I'm really 
proud of them. Buck, going for the missile shell. Take me a week's ride, and he'll be there, and Ellie's there already. What's the matter? You going for buffaloes, too? No, you're staying here. Uh. <laughs> Juan, I cannot stand this weight. I'm Cuyo-Yoked. Cuyo, yeah. The pension you're yoked. Moment. Well, it'll have to do. Well, would you look at that? Dang. It will keep me warm in a strong wind. And the rain will not pass through, neither. Thank you. Thank you. Back to the solo life. For how long? Aww. We're looking for buffaloes right now? <gasps> he found them. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Donkey kicking! <gasps> oh my gosh! That's a whole pack of them! What about the gun? Okay. Jeez! Oh, oh, he's gashed. What's happened to your face? Question him. Shall we eat kupus? Huh? My beard. Shall we eat kupus? Put that smell down. We won't come around without the smell. How do you put a smell down? <laughs> Fever pee? Fever blood. Oh man. Hell don't run off. It's me. <laughs> Skin this. Wait, wait, in. Yes, in. Oh. Wait, so they were kissing, right? Why would they show us? <gasps> uh oh. Swish. Right, swish. They look Johnson. sick. Lieutenant Mauvais, third cavalry. We've been watched ever since we started the climb up from the Gila. How do they know him? Who are they, flathead? <laughs> <laughs> I say something. It's been a long time since I had so much of the English language spoke at me. This is Crowland. This is the Department of Colorado. You live up here. Yeah. I do that. Huh? And you know the Johnson, high country. do you know Feather Mesa? I do so. We have wagons there. I've got to get them out of there before they freeze. Before the Indians get them. Would be wise. We were told that you would know how to get there. Through those passes. We were hoping that maybe... These are Christian families, Johnson. Starving. Wait, the wagons are full of people? Do you mean to tell me that you intend to let those people die? How's the war going? Which war? The one against the president of Mexico. It's so uh, Who won? It's crazy you just would not know what's going on in the world. He looks very cute. Oh, can't go through here. Why not? Crow burial ground. Sacred. We'll have to turn around 20 mile or so. We are not crows. What would happen, Johnson? I don't know. Let's not risk it. This is big medicine. They guard this place with spirits. You've been up here too long, Johnson, believing in this. What that chance would not I nice. have finding a way through myself? Poor chance. Or none. <sighs> well, thanks all the same, Johnson, but we're riding through. Sergeant! Prepare to move. You won't make it, Lieutenant. I have to try. This is... Tell your men to keep behind me in single file. 
Go slow and stay quiet. Single file, slow me. Oh, this is a very bad, I mean, it's a very hard decision. I wonder how much time I have. If I press this button, it's gonna pause it and screw up the sink. I stay. I stay with no snack. <laughs> Spirits? Oh, wow, I did not realize there were so many. Johnson, how long have you been carrying your squad? Your squaw. Does that mean how long has he been married? Johnson, I can't thank Better you. Better move enough. him out fast. Crow don't take kindly to trespass. Just like that. Hurry, get back to your wife and child. He had a light bulb, but I didn't. Please, please have nothing have happened to his family. <gasps> oh my gosh. I was not expecting this. Because he went through the ground? Through the sacred ground? That's why? I don't like this. It's a woman and a child. He was trying to help. He was trying to help people. <sighs> oh no. Are these who did it? Is he gonna rage? Wait a sec. It's just a scratch, right? He's gonna be okay? Don't be over. Oh, phew. I thought he was gonna lay down and die. Oh. He came back? What's the plan now, Jeremy? Friend or foe? Oh! What? Is this leftover fighting from the killing or new fighting? Just because. <gasps> Wait, I didn't see what happened to the other guy. Hey, I'll lean to. <laughs> Dear heavens! How long was
was he waiting in the snow? How you been, Jeremiah? Staying alive, Dale. Dale. Like the hair I see in your head? When I depart from this life, I'd like to leave something. At least to be remembered on some man's lodgepole. Sound wisdom. Where are you headed? Same place you are, Jeremiah. Hell on the end. Okay. All them engines after you, I cannot brag about your choice of campsites. You got old and scary since you growed hair in your head? Never happened to that boy, one that didn't talk much. Never did take him to Holly. Stayed with that engine gal all this time. So we're no trouble. They are really after him. Just like this, one at a time. Huh? Lucky they were crows. Apaches had sent 50 at once. Tribe's greatness is figured on how mighty its enemies be. So all the crows are against him? Maybe you'd best go down to a town, get out of these mountains. I've been to a town, no. Which way now? Don't know. Jeremiah. You will do well, Dale. You don't get in too much trouble with all that hair. I told my pap and ma'am I was coming to the mountains. Acted like they was gut shot. I said, Mother Q. Mother Q. The Rocky Mountains is the marrow of the world. By God, I was right. Yes, you were. Which way are you headed, Jeremiah? Canada, maybe. Hi. I hear there's land there a man has never seen. We'll take ya. I ain't never seen him, but my common sense tells me the Andes is foothill. The Alps is for children to climb. He could tear your hair. Goodbye, Doug. You. Who is he yelling at? They keep coming after him. Get him, or is he pretending? I thought they don't use guns. Oh my gosh, he impaled him. He's alive. Right here, mister. <laughs> Where's the crazy woman? She's gone. Hey, who's this guy? Who are you? My name's Quaylen. I'm Sadler. Sadler. What are you gonna do? Do it when Indians are coming. I'm confused. You're him, ain't you? Him. It's this. It's for you. You be Johnson. Mine early, ain't they? Right in the grave like the other. Huh? More like a statue or monument. They built it for him? We never see them. We just look and there's a new piece of bone or something's been left. Oh. We know they've been here. Some say you're dead. Count of this. Others say you never will be. Won't save anything. Huh? Sending them out to hide in a corn crib. <sighs> He's like Grizz. He's a legend now? him. Thank you kindly. That doesn't look cooked enough, I don't think. You come far, pilgrim. Feels like far. Were it worth the trouble? What trouble? What brings you up so high? Grizz. Grizz. Avalanche took the cabin. Oh. Lost my mule. No matter. Wasn't no Grizz left anyway. Would you happen to know what month of the year it is? But it's a long time going, huh? Huh. Stays long this time. Maybe they can keep each other company for a while. You have done well to keep so much hair when so many's after it. I hope you will fare well. Hey, 
Is this a new winter or is he just going so high? Now who do we got? Oh boy, not this again. Is this a truce? You went to National Forest, Wasatch National Park, Ashley Zion National Park, and Snow Canyon. I don't know. I almost, with the music and the scenery and the lack of dialogue, it almost seems like one of those zen videos you would just put on your TV on a Sunday afternoon and have a nap too because it is like calming and peaceful and it's about nature and aloneness and the beauty of the nature but then but then in the middle of it there's like murder and vendetta and a family you like you know you fall in love with and then they murder the wife and child and like on one hand, it's like this very simple story of this mountain man. On the other hand, it's terrible. I think it's based off a true story. And I'm guessing in the end, they have peace. They come to a truce. They'll stop coming after him and he'll just go on and live in the mountains. I really thought it was going to be about like cultures coming together with him and his family and a happy escape for that boy and for her and they you know they were forced to marry each other kind of but they found love oh i don't know it was super sad and it was slow but like i said it was like a peaceful slow almost like you know you turn on planet earth I really liked Robert Redford in it. I was glad he was really nice to the wife and child because I feel like not a lot of people were back then. You know, I don't know. That might be wrong to say. Jeremiah Johnson. I've seen Robert Redford as The Natural and in The Sting and Butch Cassidy and I just have a little crush on him. His IMDb picture is not nice to him. They should use his fresh shaven. Actually, they should use the sting. He was so cute in that. Okay, thank you so much for watching along. I'll see you guys again soon.